Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Lieutenant Jeff Lura. And I'm Shelley Van Hoof. Here are the headlines at Defense. March 8th is International Women's Day, an opportunity to honor the remarkable contributions of women to society. Events will take place across the country to celebrate the significant achievements and dedication of the women of the defense team. This year, the day comes during an unprecedented global movement for women's rights, equality, and justice, and a rising momentum for change. This change requires our collective efforts and action, as well as a shared responsibility to foster a workplace free from harassment and discrimination. Defense team members are strongly encouraged to participate in local events to celebrate this important day. Remember, the importance of empowering women and girls in our communities, organizations, and institutions isn't limited to one day a year. Recently, Canada announced its intention to rejoin NATO's Airborne Warning and Control System program. NATO has significantly increased the use of the program's operations, especially in areas like Central and Eastern Europe, where Canada is leading a multinational NATO battle group based in Latvia. Canada is playing a key role in the world by making concrete contributions to international peace and security. Programs like this one provide the necessary joint intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance needed in today's security environment. Before we go, good luck to Corporal Dominique Larac from CFB Valcartier, who will be competing as a goaltender for the sledge hockey team in the 2018 Winter Paralympics. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time for Defense Team News.